Hi guys, my name is Jen. Today's video is going to be very, very casual. I just picked out five of my favorite looks this month, and most of these I wore to school, so they're very laid back, comfy, and perfect for college. A lot of you guys were curious to know who films my videos for me, and it's my housemate. Her name is So, and she's been filming for me for around six months now. She is astoundingly amazing videographer, and I'm really lucky to live with her. So yeah, the mystery is solved now, so let's get on to the looks. I've been attracted to all things warm and fuzzy since pff, god knows when, so it makes perfectly clear sense that I would be obsessed with mohair. This cardigan is really heavy duty, and best of all, it's this sick argyle pattern, and I just feel like a really super hip grandpa when I wear it. Underneath, I just wore a simple sheer top, and I went ahead and buttoned it all the way to the top to give it a really crisp and scholarly look. And for my bottoms, I just found these old pair of gray skinnies in my drawer. And I thought my pale pink, kind of almost nude mitzi wedges would be perfect for this look. And I slapped on one of my favorite nude shades and topped the entire look with these tortoise framed cat eye sunglasses. I think a casual outfit is all about adding texture and dimension to your look and for this case I grabbed my pumpkin orange shaggy cardigan and I strategically rolled up the sleeves to give it more shape since it's so oversized and on my top I'm wearing this really funny spin-off of the classic old show Beavis and Butthead but instead of being boring inferior humans they're freaking aliens which makes it 10 times more amazing and for my bottoms I'm just wearing my trusty indigo skinnies and absolutely no casual outfit would be right if I didn't have on my creepers. They're on my feet a minimum of four times a week because they're mad comfy and easy to slip in and out of. I added some decorative socks to jazz it up a bit and I went for a pinky nude lip. I think it's safe to say that we've all had those days where nothing seems to be going right. Well, I've christened this jacket to wear during those days. It's definitely a tongue-in-cheek graphic, which I find to be humorous. It's really exaggerated and a hyperbole and a funny statement to wear on those off days. Underneath, I'm wearing my same sheer top you saw in my first look, and I added this beautiful, rich and pattern tapestry scarf. I can't believe it's from Forever 21 because it feels really expensive. Stepping down to my bottoms, I popped on my brown almost wool like skater skirt and moving even more south I slipped on to one of my casual boots the strap of the shoe create a subtle cutout and a fat chunky 90s heel makes it fun to stomp around in I added some worn tone accessories and I finished off the look with the same lip color from before <music> Breaking Bad is one of my favorite shows, and as we're all eagerly waiting for the last portion of the season, we can wait by wearing this insane, spiral, graphic-filled top with Walter White, or if you want to call him by his street name, Heisenberg. Over the color top, I chucked on this chambray anorak. Chambray is a relatively thin material, so it's going to transition so well for the spring. I thought I would keep the cool toned aspect of my outfit by wearing these navy blue velvet leggings and to go all out and crazy I busted out my chicre platforms. <laughs> Some of you guys may be cringing at these but I love them. Fashion isn't about pleasing other people, it's about wearing what you like and feeling really good in it. This is my last outfit and I'm going to end it with sportswear. It's something that I've been really warming up to. I just really like the way it looks when it's kind of paired with something that's not very sporty at all. In my case, I decided to wear my intense thick sweater that's adorned with these triangles. I think it's just a really fun and casual print which is just right up my alley. For my pants, I'm wearing my light acid wash. Uh, they're, they're practically white skinnies, and I thought that they would really meld super well with my outfit. And for my shoes, I went along and paired it with my basic lace-up boots that go with everything. <laughs> I would love it if you guys would comment down below and let me know which one's your favorite outfit. If you don't want to comment that, that's cool. Just let me know what your plans are this weekend or something 
that's really exciting that's happening to you. I would love to read it and I want to get to know you guys a little bit better. And realistically, I don't think I'm going to film the hair curling tutorial video by this month because the month is pretty much over. This is the curling iron I use. It is by Conair. It says you curl on it. I'll film it for you guys, but it's going to happen in February because midterms are kicking my butt right now. They're next week and I'm kind of freaking out because I have midterms and I have essays due and I want to film these videos because I find it very therapeutic but I kind of have to balance things out because I'm also a student. If you have an Instagram, my username is I'm Janim. You can follow me if you wanna. Talk to you guys in the next video and take care. Bye!